yo, 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 people, what is going on? And this is AK Spartan Killer. Welcome to How to Shave Like a Man. I'm actually, you, you don't shave. That's how you shave like a man. I made a little design in my, I made a little design in my, in my goatee. Look, like, it's beautiful, look! Look, look at how long it is. Like, see, I could be in, like, a goatee championship thing. Like, look at how long that is! I pretty much have one of the best beards slash goatees ever. Like, look, you just sit there and twist it, and it stays. How freaking sweet is that? Like, look at this thing. Look, it's, it's beautiful. And then if you have a little bit here, then you can just take it and twist that. Not gonna lie, I love having a goatee. And the fact that I haven't shaved it up until now is because um, it's just a point of pride now. Where it's just like, dude, are you ever gonna shave it? No, it's already like super long. I don't even care. So, unfortunately, now it is time for this beast to come off. Now if you're young, and you're like, oh my god, I can't wait to get that. Do not wish that on yourself. Don't freaking do it. Why? Because these things are, you, you don't want it. They're just irritating. It's irritating to have to shave all the time. Especially if you have a job where you have to shave all the time. It is depressing because you have to get up like every two days and just and shave. Oh, it's irritating. But like right now, this thing is uh, beautiful. And look, I even like did the whole back and I shaved the back and underneath it. And like when I sit there and think, I'm just like, hmm. And I, I do uh, one big one and then I put a rubber band in it. And that's how long it is. Like it's like a little paintbrush. Like look, it's, it's so beautiful, it's so cute. I shall call this Jeff Jr. And he will be amazing, like look at him. Look, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shave it off. I'm gonna be clean shaven because I have to do uh, a job where I need to be totally shaved. So, sit back, enjoy the ride. I will teach you how to shave. I probably do it wrong, but this is how I do it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> You guys better be able to see the water. You bet. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do is... <laughs> is I'm going to, uh... Because what you need to do when you first start shaving is you need to actually get like this off. You can't use a straight edge to this. You need to get it as close to the skin as possible and then like here is where you need to use a straight edge. So actually what I'm going to do is I have a Ziploc baggie and I am going to uh, shave off my goatee into this baggie. Look, it's like a little beardy thing. Like look, look at how long this is. Right? It's freaking awesome. I love doing this. This is so sweet. But I am going to uh, shave it off and I might auction it off. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Could be like, hey, you can have my beard. You can have this beautiful, beautiful goatee of the one and only AK Spartan Killer. You could have, like, look at that. It's like beautiful. Look, it comes down to a point. How can you not fall in love with, how can you not do that? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shave it. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins, all day, every day. I don't know why I'm like, like look, this is me standing. I need to like get, oh God. Oh God. There we go. Sure. Let's try that. God, this is depressing. This is super depressing. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna shave it onto a piece of paper and then use that piece of paper to, uh, I'm gonna use that piece of paper to um, put it into the bag. Man, this, why is there like stuff on here? There's like gum or something or like oil, weird. 
Oh, man. So much, like, I, I, like, cultivated this. I was like a farmer. I was a farmer, and then it's just like, meh. Whatever. Should I do some, I should do some crazy design. Should I do just, like, the middle? Should I do, like, the middle gun? How deep is, how wide is it? Oh, dude, that'll look cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do the middle. <laughs> and then I think... How about I just take off this part? Just that right there, like leave the little soul patch and then leave the two along the side. I think that'll look pretty cool. <laughs> oh God! Oh God, it's like when you get in a bike wreck and like your part of your body's just like hanging off you. Oh God! Okay, so. Ew, I feel like an old man now. Gross! Ah! That's not- nothing is there that I'm touching! Like, I'm used to doing this. Oh, whoa, that's weird. Dude, that's freaking cool. Look at how much came off. Mm. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm like, sorry dudes. This is also gonna be the first time you guys ever see me with a baby face. You guys will be like, holy shnikes. Dude, I feel like a biker. Hush, Sam. I know that you just got used, but you need to relax. Okay, so now let's, uh... I got a horrible accident. It said money. Ah, uh, looks like I'm like mange. My face does not look as long. This is awkward. I like this little soul patch. Look at that. Hmm. That's nifty. Look at that. Look at how long that is. Beautiful. This isn't even my final form. I, uh... <laughs> this looks gross. I hate being without a goatee. Now whenever I go... I don't even want to touch my chin because when I go like this, it's going to feel so weird. It's going to make me depressed. It's going to make me super depressed. I'm going to be uber depressed. <laughs> I'm going to be like... <laughs> uh... Alright, so this... You do get back on, please! I don't want to do this anymore! Now, what I want you guys to do is say which one looked better. My normal goatee, the one with the stripe down the middle. Oh, I touched it. Gross. Um, the one with the stripe down it, or scruffy. Uh, scruffy. Or, <laughs> where's my goatee? Or, I'm gonna be 100% clean shaven, AKA, with this wonderful thing called The Art of Shaving by The Art of Shaving New York. This is good for um, sensitive skin. I got the one for um, like super, super sensitive skin because I get razor burn a lot. So, I'm gonna tell you guys the right way of how to shave. I'm gonna tell you guys the wrong way how to shave. I shave the wrong way. Check this out though. I have a brush. And then I have, um, excuse me. And then it has some aftershave balm. And then you have shaving cream. And then you have, um, the pre-shave oil. Now it tells you on the box how to use it. It says prepare to soften the beard and protect the skin. Always shave after or during a hot shower, never before. Always use hot water while shaving, which is good because I'm in Arizona and the water's 800 degrees anyway. Hot water softens the beard, opens pores, and cleanses the skin. Before shaving, apply the art of shaving pre-shave oil to protect the skin. Soften the beard and allow the blade an easy glide. Formulated with a unique blend of blah, 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 small children and uh, pre-shave oil is ideal for men with sensitive skin, ingrown hair, razor beard, or tough 
beards. Razor burn or tough beards. And that's when you use this, pre-shave oil. So let's go ahead and use this. I need to get a, uh, thing. oh God, my face. Don't look at me. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get super hot water. Because hot water is super good for you when you're shaving. Hot water is bad when you're taking a shower. Ow, hot. Okay, got it. So I have a washcloth. That's hot. Oy vey. That's super hot. Okay, so now what you do is you're just going to wet your skin. That way it'll open up your pe peers, your pores. Mmm, warm. Not like super boiling hot, but it should be warm enough to where, uh, to where you can feel it. Not like, oh, this is just warm. It should be pretty hot. Oh, I feel how relaxing that it... <gasps> I couldn't breathe. Super hot. Just like waterboard yourself. Alright, so there's that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put on the pre-shave oil. Excuse me, sir. Open. Eh, eh. Turn. There we go. I applied a small, small, small amount. Mmm, smells delicious. Smells super delicious. Protect my skin oil! Protect it! Please protect it! Alright, now, if you have a, uh, if you have a shaving brush, you do not need to use a lot of shaving cream. You do not need to use a lot of shaving cream at all. The shaving brush is amazing, especially if you get a high-end one. They're super awesome. Now the next step says lather up for a close and comfortable shave. Use the Art of Shaving Shaving Cream for a close and comfortable shave. Works with glycerin, coconut oil, and essential glycerin. That's like nitroglycerin. Is my face going to explode? For optimal results, use the Art of Shaving Shaving Brush made of the finest badger hair available. Honey badger don't care! Use them for a shaving brush! It helps generate a warm and rich lather. It softens and lifts the beard from the face. A good lather acts as a cushion between the blade and the skin, protecting it from razor burn and irritation. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your, uh, your badger hair beard and then you're going to take your shaving cream. It's unscented for sensitive skin. Now you can get like lilac and whatever the heck you want, but I've used that. Now what you can do is you can put uh, a small, like super, super small amount onto your skin. Like that. That should be plenty. And then all you want to do, oh excuse me sir. All you want to do is take your badger hair and just go like this and work it up into a lather. Like that's it. It's super, super easy. Super easy. So then you just take it and then you just do that on your face. And then you start feeling like an old timey gentleman. Hello sir, please uh, put your badger hair onto my face please. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, some people use a lot, but this is not, like, um... This is, like, the non-foamy stuff. Like, you know how you use the Barbasol? It's like... And then you put it on. I like using this stuff because it's not, uh, super... What do you want to call it? Like, super foamy, I guess. That'd be the correct word. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Good. Look at that coverage. I'm gonna use a little bit more. Just a wee baby bit more. You know what's up? Gross. Hmm. This is nice. Also, Cat doesn't know that I'm doing this. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be freaking awesome. Make sure to rinse out your brush, like, really, really well. 
thought I heard the garage door. Alright. So there's that. And also, if you get like, if you go to the Art of Shaving, they have like holders for it because you don't want to get water up in here. You always want to keep it pointed down because if it's uh, like that, you'll get like mold and stuff in it. And it's gross. So always keep it pointed down. All right. So now we have a, a light dusting of uh, ye old shaving cream. I might want to put a little bit more on, but. We'll see. All right, so now I'm using the Gillette Fusion, like 18, because there's like 87 blades. I have replacement blades, and you always want to use like a super sharp blade. This one looks like it could be replaced. I'll do a couple uh, strokes with it. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to pull the plug on your, um, you want to pull the plug on your sink. And then you want to fill it up with water, preferably hot water, because you want to keep it hot. Heat is your friend here. I filled it up just uh, like that much. Okay, now there's different ways that you can shave. You can either shave with the grain or against the grain. I shave like both, and they tell you not to shave against the grain, but if I shave with it, I get razor burn. So I'm gonna show you with, with the grain, because so your hair's like pointed down, so you want to shave down. If your hair's pointed up, you want to shave up. Like some people have like cowlicks and stuff on their thing. And you just want to shave the way the hair grows. That's with the grain. So all you do is you just do nice, smooth, ew, strokes. Super, super easy. And you don't want to let the, uh, the blades get junked up like every one or two strokes and pull downs you have you want to clean out the uh you want to clean out the blade because when it gets junked up that's when you start like ripping at your skin you want to be very 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 careful and don't go over the same spot over and over again because then you're taking away the uh, protecting, you're taking away the protective lather of the uh, the shaving cream, and every time you shave, you're taking away a layer of your skin. So don't overdo it. Also, if you don't have a beard, don't freaking shave, <laughs> because if you take away your peach fuzz, you're it's gonna come back thicker and darker. Coming along rather nicely, I might add. Reminds me of a. Uh, Sweeney Todd, <laughs> or when Ace Ventura, he, or uh, not Ace Ventura, when Jim Carrey, he gets, he's in that uh, that chair on Dumb and Dumber, and the guy's doing his beard, and he's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> he starts freaking out. It's like the best thing ever. Now, if you ever feel your uh, your razor like pulling at your hair and it starts hurting, that's the sign to change your razor because that means that it's dull and it's pretty much just ripping the hairs out of your face. When you rip the hairs out of your face, it does not feel pleasant at all. Oh, Zach, why you look so young? That's why I never shave. <laughs> that's, that's why I have the baby face. Like some people shave their necks. I use the uh, electric razor for that. I kind of want to go all the way down because that's where I get my uh, skin irritation. Like I normally get it like right around here, right around here right around here. Shaving with the green wasn't uh, that bad this time. I'm surprised. All right, so now I'm emptying out my uh, my water. It looks okay to me. Putting back my uh, razor. And then what you do after you're done shaving, it says always shave with the grain first, i.e. in the direction the hair grows. Shaving against the grain first can cause ingrown hairs and razor burn. For an even closer shave, relather and shave lightly across or against the grain. So if it goes down, you shave this way. Check to see whether the hair on your neck grows in the same direction as the hair on your face. If it does not, make sure you adjust accordingly to shave with the grain. Then it talks about their razors. Always glide the razor gently over your face, applying too much pressure on your face, or applying too much pressure on your razor. Oh, avoid. I can read. I was homeschooled. 
Always glide the razor gently over your face. Avoid applying too much pressure on your razor since this is often the cause of razor burn and skin irritations. Moisturize. After shaving, apply the Art of Shaving After Shave Balm to soothe, refresh, and regenerate the skin. Shaving removes a small layer of skin, a process that depletes moisture. Formulated with grapeseed extract, shea butter, and vitamin C, and alcohol free, da, 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 tells you how all the stuff that's in it. So now what I'm gonna do is after I, uh, when I'm totally done, I'm gonna apply cold water to my uh, face. So that way it closes the pores, because that's what I wanna do, although this is not um, cold water, like whatsoever. I'm gonna gently, Wipe off the lather, gently, gently, ever so gently. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on this um, this aftershave balm. Just do a small amount. It's unscented. <laughs> I was like, what does this smell like? Idiot, it's unscented. Dry off my face. Good enough. I just did a slight dab with the, uh, I just did a light dab with the, uh, towel. And voila. I am fit as a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle. Get it? You need to moisturize the snot out of your face. <laughs> Because getting razor burn stinks, like hard. It's so bad, it's painful. There we go. Baby face. This is good. I think this is like the only time, maybe when I was first starting videos, uh, was when I um, had a baby face. was when I was completely uh, shaved. I think that's the only time. Not gonna lie, this feels weird, and when my beard goes in, I'm not gonna shave it again. I only do it for certain occasions, and this is one of them, and you guys will know about that uh, in a couple days, maybe. But uh, yeah, that's it. If you nick yourself shaving, don't go over that same spot. You just nicked a thing. Bleeding is horrible. Apply pressure to it if you, if you start bleeding. Um. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't need to wipe the oil off my face. We're going to see um, Kat's reaction to me being shaved because she hates, well, she doesn't hate, but she doesn't like my goatee. So we're gonna go ahead and show that. So she's gonna freak out. So I'm obviously gonna keep recording. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any tips on shaving, don't ask me because I don't know a whole lot. There's probably be people already commenting saying, Zach, you did it wrong. I do what works for me. There's different stuff, different strokes for different folks. And uh, that's the way I do it. Make sure that your badger hair is thoroughly dried before you put it away because you do not want mold or anything in this because these can get expensive. Like you spend a hundred dollars on a nice one. There's like silver tip, fine tip, all sorts of different things. And uh, yeah, if you if you want some of the lucky goatee hair, let me know. I said that as a joke, but there could be some people out there that are like, oh my god, I want this. Message me, because <laughs> that's weird. Don't put it in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't really have any other tips for shaving. Um, I'll do my hair. Not gonna lie, having short hair is awesome because this is literally how I do my hair. Get it wet, push it forward, do the sides. Done! What? Zach, you look totally different. I know, it's easy to do short hair. Are you jealous, girls? You jealous that your 18 hour hair is uh, gorgeous? Didn't know what to say. But, um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave this right here, and uh, when Cat gets home, we're gonna keep, <laughs> we're gonna pick up where we left off, so that way she could see my, uh, she could see my face. But as of right now, it looks like our time is up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment down below whatever you are thinking. Um, let me know what you like better: clean shaven, rough, the two little handlebar things, or the goatee. 
and I will see you guys next time. Peace! Tell me, huh? Because I have to. What for? For the movie? For the show? Don't touchy. No touchy you look touch. so young. Like, you literally dropped, like, lost, like, so many years. You look like a little teenage boy baby. I'm a teenage boy baby? You're a little teenage boy. I want a Tonka truck! You look like, because I've never seen you, like, I've never been around you without facial hair. Like, my whole life. A whole I've life! you. That is so weird. Like, you look like young baby that.